Hello everybody. So today um, I wanted to give you a tutorial of a program that's called Metaverse. So basically what Metaverse is, it's um, this program that allows you to create your own mobile apps in a sense, or um, you'll kind of get a better picture of it once I start the tutorial, but um, they're not actually called apps, they're called experiences. And these experiences can uh, take a bunch of different forms. Um, basically they're kind of just little like mobile apps or games or stories almost. And um, you can be the one to create it and uh, have this unique experience of making your own app. And then you get to share it with other people. And so um, other people can uh, play through your experience and you can play through their experience. But um, it's not really just an app or a game that you create. Um, it also has a lot of coding flexibility. And um, if you're tech savvy enough, you're basically given free reign to do all sorts of uh, crazy things uh, in terms of building a really, uh, you know, in-depth app like for a company or anything like that. There's, uh, the possibilities are basically endless, especially if you do have a knowledge of coding. But the whole point of uh, Metaverse is that uh, you can create your own app or game or story or anything like that um, without having any coding ability. So uh, without further ado, I'm just going to kind of show you uh, how this works and uh, give an example here. So uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is, of course, create an account um, with Metaverse. And once you've done that, um, you'll be taken to uh, this Get Started page, uh, first of all. And that'll give you uh, even more tutorials than the one that I am providing right now. And um, so then the first thing you want to do in order to create your first experience, you will click on Studio here, and then you'll click on Experiences, and then you'll want to click on Create New Experience. So now that uh, you're set up here, um, you might be a little bit confused, so I will uh, help you through the process here. Um, so what you see now um, is, is kind of like uh, your, uh, the platform you're gonna be working in, the interface you're gonna be working with in order to build your experience. And uh, so this is kind of your initial start here. You can describe the experience and um, then here is your first scene and this is what people are gonna see um, uh, imagine this kind of being like uh, your mobile phone screen right here. Like this is what people are going to see when they first click on your experience. So um, what can we do with an experience? Well, the first thing that I thought of, since it's like an app or a game or something you can create, you can you make a character, you have them talk, and then um, you can respond with these action buttons here. So let me show you what that looks like. The first idea I had that might be kind of neat was if you were for example, a school teacher, and you wanted to make a little quiz game for your students, you, that could be an example of one experience you could make. So um, first of all, so the character speaking in this first scene, when the user opens up your experience, that's where they're gonna see this character. So I thought let's make a teacher character and uh, let's have the experience be this teacher character giving students a quiz. Um, so we're gonna see what that looks like here. So you can either um, you can either create a character, and then you could upload an image, and then that would be your character. It could even be your own face, or you can make a character. You can just pick through um, these characters, the pre-existing characters, and let's see. Well, Dr. Dre, he's a, a doctor, but we might as well let him be a, a teacher here for now. So he's going to be our the face of our our teacher now. And um, so what are we going to have him say? Well, if this is a quiz that's going to be given to students, he might say, um, welcome to the math quiz. Let's test your, your knowledge. Are you ready? And then, so then the, the action would, of course, be, since you're looking at this as a mobile phone screen, this is what the, the person's going to see. Um, and uh, so you're going to want the button response over here, see where it says response text. You might want it to say something like, I'm ready, let's go, or something like that. And then you can see how then, if this is like a mobile phone screen, then the person who's using their phone would just click right here on this button to get to the next scene. 
So, um, of course, we can't just have, it's not really an app if you can't click on any buttons and nothing happens. We have to keep building on it. So how are we going to do that? Well, the uh, next thing, you go to transition control, transition to scene, since you can see this is a, a scene here. We're just calling it scene one since it's the first, uh, just the, the first um, scene here. And so transition to scene. We're going to need to make a new scene, right? So... Um, we're just going to make a new character scene because you can see how uh, you can make all different types of scenes. One of them, it could be like the user puts text in. One could be um, that uh, the, the app is requesting an item from the user or giving the item to a, a user. Um, one might be that uh, it opens up a web page, as you can see here, or um, even that it, it uses your camera and you can take a picture or it opens YouTube. Um, all sorts of awesome opportunities here. And then... Um, I might uh, go over this in a, um, a coming video, but uh, for now, let's just um, keep it simple, but just uh, as a little quick introduction as to um, just the scope of Metaverse and what you can do with it when you're making your experience. Um, it may seem, if you look at this, that it's pretty simple, like, oh, you can just make little character scenes and keep clicking buttons, like a choose your own adventure novel type of thing, or put in text and then see how the app responds. And that's pretty in-depth already, I guess. But um, what the other thing you can do, other than just creating these scenes that the user interacts with, you can do something called blocks, which can be all sorts of things. But um, just as an example here, uh, what you could do with a block is um, you could start a timer, uh, for example, um, so we might go over this in, in another uh, episode of my tutorials here, is uh, like for this, this quiz here, you could, um, let's say the student only has 15 seconds to answer the question. You could start a timer and then um, stop the timer at 15 seconds and then uh, so the student would only have 15 seconds to answer the quiz question. So that's just an example of how these blocks here are kind of like um, actions that your experience can take and directions your experience can go in. Um, just all sorts of things. Um, you know, upload something to a photo wall. Um, you could, uh, let's see, what else? Um, you could make a leaderboard. Um, yeah, so just there, there's different kinds of, I, I guess you can almost think of these like widgets in a sense, or you can just think of these as actions that um, are occurring in your experience to make it more dynamic and way more in depth. Lots of different um, possibilities here. But for now, we're just going to stick with these scenes here. But now you can kind of see how these scenes are like the static um, sort of uh, the, the um, screens that exist in your in your app and then these blocks are more that actions you can take within that to make it even more dynamic and interesting but so yeah um might play around with that in another uh, tutorial but uh, for this tutorial i uh, just wanted to give a quick introduction so that you know it's not just scenes um also you can uh sort of create actions in your experience and the possibilities are pretty endless yeah so anyway so we're going to go to another scene we're going to create this new scene and it's going to be another character scene. So now, since of course he asked, are you ready for the math quiz? The next uh, thing here will be our first math question. Let's, let's just say, um, what is five times five? Just something kind of simple to show you as an example. And um, so what you do here is, it's a multiple choice question, of course. So we're going to add some actions. We're going to just say there's four choices here. And um, this one here might be 10, then uh, uh, 15, 20, 25. And of course, you can just kind of mentally, you can use this as a placeholder and mentally think like, oh, well, it could be any question that the teacher is asking their students, you know, any grade level, anything. Um, so, of course, these answers are wrong and this answer is right. So then how do we deal with that? Well, um, First, we have to think, what happens when you click on 10? Of course, the student's not going to be right, but um, what's going to happen in that case? So we're going to have to make a new scene for that with our same teacher character here. And he's going to say, um, sorry, that's incorrect. Try again, just as an example. But then this doesn't lead anywhere. So if we're going to have 
um, the student try again, what we have to do is go to transitions here and um, or you could have a like a button down here that says, OK, I'll try again and then have that lead back to this scene. But um, and you also might want to relabel your scenes to make it a little bit easier to think about. Like uh, it's kind of small text here, but it did say scene two, but I might uh, change this to like, for example, test question one. And that way I can, um, when I'm here, and I'm on the, sorry, that's incorrect, try again screen, I can uh, transition to, to scene and then back to test question one. So we're going back to test question one. Just makes it a little bit easier to label it here. So um, that's incorrect, try again. And then um, it's gonna go right back to test question one so they can look at that again. And of course you want the same thing to happen here. Transition to, um, the uh, scene three, which we could also rename that and call it like, sorry, you're wrong screen or something like that. And then we want that to be here. Transition to scene three where they're told they're wrong again. And um, so as you can probably see, that's uh, another helpful aspect of um, having this little interface here. As you can see how all the scenes are connected, that this one leads to this one and these three options lead here and the arrows and just kind of the way they're set up is pretty helpful. But um, you could probably also guess that if you're not just using scenes and you're using all these uh, blocks that we talked about earlier, all these actions that take place in your experience, it might get a little more complicated and you might have a, a need to sort of drag things around to sort of like a kind of like a, a web, I guess you could call it like an information web, just a way to um, organize and uh, the experience in a way that makes sense to you. You might drag things and uh, you know put one thing on top of another, or whatever. So you can you can feel free to do that if you want. So uh, you can actually move these, and it's more of a dynamic thing. And so now, this is the fun part. We get to tell the student they're right. <laughs> so we get to make a, a new scene here, and um, transition to scene, new scene. Um, now the teacher is going to say, congratulations, you're cor correct. Great job. You win a trophy. And then just say like, uh, receive my trophy. Um, and I'll show you a little bit about how that works and what, where I'm kind of going with that in a second here. And also um, just, you know, my earlier point about organizing, maybe uh, some people might want to see this one under this one because they're kind of on the same um, level, if that makes sense, because you know, it's like a branching path. You know, if you give, if you put these answers, you get this. And if you put, have this answer, uh, the correct answer, then it will lead here. So you can see it's kind of like a branching path. So it might make sense to some people to put this scene underneath this one or something, right? Um, yeah. So what happens? Receive my trophy. And you'll also see these little red buttons here, which indicates that um, you, you've kind of reached like an obstacle here. You know, if you haven't continued uh, or this doesn't lead to anything, then of course um, your experience isn't really finished yet. That's uh, not going to work, of course. So uh, this little red button is helpful to see if there's any uh, kind of obstacles um, while you're working or something that you forgot to do. So we're going to make a new scene again. This is going to be our final scene here, but it's not going to be another character screen. It's going to be a give item scene, just so you can sort of see uh, just within these scenes here the cool things you can do. Um, so now it's going to give you an item. And you know, you might want to drag this down here to show that uh, it's part of this path. All right, so now you can click on select item. And um, I already went ahead and uh, had uploaded this, but um, uh, basically what you do is you click new, you upload an image, and then you put in the name of the image and might describe it if you want or something like that. And then you click on create item. And then so we already did that with this trophy here. And so now, as you can see, um, the person has this trophy. Pretty cool. I have a trophy, yay. <laughs> so then, um, 
you can say that that's the end of the experience. They receive their trophy and the experience is done. So you can see how this would um, have a lot of different applications and uh, just the idea of like a choose your own adventure type thing could have um, lots of different applications, uh, both for fun and with uh, using the blocks and the actions within your experience more in depth. Um, it could have uh, practical applications too, or you could make something like an app for a company or something. You can, can really see uh, the potential of this without even needing to uh, uh, be someone who has web development and app development and coding experience. Um, but yeah, so now that we have uh, that done, you can see just this specific example here of how a teacher could potentially make some test questions and, uh, you know, tell their students what's wrong and what's right. And I think students would have a fun time with that. But uh, let's kind of take a look real quick. Um, the other thing we can do is test on device. And unfortunately, I've got a really slow old device. So what I've done here uh, to make up for it is just sort of um, use uh, like a um, I don't know what you would call it, like a, a mobile emulator, just so you can you get to see how it looks. So here's the final product. And so we can just uh, give it a whirl here and see how it looks when it's all done. So uh, our teacher's saying, welcome to the math quiz. Let's test your knowledge. Are you ready? The student would click, I'm ready, let's go. The teacher says, uh, what is five times five? And just for example, we said 10. And then he says, sorry, that's incorrect. Uh, try again. And then uh, it leads uh, back in the transition here uh, to the correct, or I mean to the screen where you can try again. And now let's answer correctly. Say 25, and then he says, congratulations, you're correct. Great job, you won a trophy. Receive my trophy. And then, um, so that now you receive this item as a reward and you can kind of just have that little item as part of your experience you completed. And um, so you could see how this would be a fun way for students to learn. Maybe that, you, you know, you'd be known as the cool teacher, I think, if you uh, did something like this for your students and let them download a little app on their phone. But of course, like I said, you can see tons of applications that this might potentially have and uh, just the opportunity to be creative and kind of make your own apps, games, stories, etc. Um, sky's your limit kind of. So um, I think that is all I wanted to go over for this tutorial today and um, on a future tutorial I might sort of go more in depth and uh, try and use some of the blocks to make a more complicated app but um, until then I hope you enjoyed my tutorial of how Metaverse, Metaverse works and I hope you have a fantastic day. Thanks so much. Bye!